for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on my current monthly favorites. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into the video, I want to get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Thanks so much for returning. If you are new here, I am Bridget on this channel. I do skincare, makeup with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join the family. Now let's get into this. I have a little bit of everything. I got some skincare, I got some makeup and I have a candle and I have a fragrance and I think that's it. So I'm just going to start off with my favorite um, category, not my favorite item, but my favorite category. And that would be skincare. Put the readers on, shall we? This is the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. And it says it's a calming oat base powder exfoliant. Comes in a container like this. And let me tell you all, if you have sensitive skin and you're looking for a type of um, exfoliant that's not going to dry your skin out. This is definitely it. Of course, it's got a lot of good ingredients, but what I mainly like about it, or the second thing that I like about it outside of the ingredients is when you apply it to your face, um, it uh, you can feel a little bit of um, texture going on, just a little, little bit. It's not sudsy or anything like that, but you can clearly tell that it's a cleanser. And from there, it turns into like a milky texture. Have you all ever used like a milk bath or anything like that? This is what that reminds you of. And let me tell you, out of all of the cleansers that I have, I don't have anything like this. And and the part that's unique to me is like when it turns into a milky type of texture and then you just kind of finish washing your face and you feel like you're at the spa. Once you rinse it off, of course, your face doesn't feel um, stripped or anything like that. I don't know if they have a smaller container of this or a bottle of this uh, because I think this is kind of, this is kind of on the pricier side. But if you do see it in a small bottle or whatever, definitely try it out. Or even if it goes on sale at Sephora, you know, Sephora has those annual sales or whatever. I would say to definitely try this out because it is divine. I will keep this in my skincare collection. Once this is out, I'm going to buy some more. Once that bottle is out, I'm going to buy some more <laughs> and some more. I love it. All right. So next up, I have a fragrance. And as you can see, I bought the small bottle. This is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid by Victor and Roth. And the main accords are vanilla, sweet, powdery, fruity, floral, and green. The top notes are peach and vine. The middle notes are orchid. And the base notes are vanilla bean. This is so divine. If you like um, those sweetie vanilla types of fragrances, very warm type of fragrances, you definitely will love this. And the reason that I like it so much is not only because I like sweet and vanilla type of fragrances, but I like how it um, acts with my body chemistry. You know how when you spray on a perfume and you spray it on your body, it can sometimes smell just a little bit different from when somebody else sprays it. And I just love what it turns into. It's just a very warm type of uh, fragrance. This probably could be better worn in the winter, but you know, I wear any of my fragrances, whatever time of year, whenever, however I want to wear it. But I really love this. I like all of, well, I'm not going to say I like all of because I don't have all of Victor and Roth's uh, Flower Bomb uh, perfumes, but I do have quite a few. I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I may have five. I think I have five and they all have a unique scent to them while they still, you, you can still tell they're related to the original flower bomb, which is really cool. Uh, but anyway, love, love this one. All right. So next up, I have a foundation. Yes, ma'am. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. And you already know by the name why, why I like it. But just let me quickly tell you everything that it's got in it. First of all, it's full coverage and it's full coverage without it looking full coverage. I did a review on this. I'll try to link it up above as well as down below. 
below if you want to check it out but it goes on the skin very very thin um, evenly it's not like a traditional full coverage where it's real thick and pasty and cakey um, it's not like for example I'll say Huda the uh, her foundations are full coverage they're very thick this is total opposite from that but this one has vitamin c hyaluronic acid salicylic acid in it and um it's long wearing and it has a natural finish i think probably for me the only drawback about this is this top uh this top can be really tricky um as to how to get it off because it's like if you don't have it positioned correctly it, you can kind of struggle a little bit but of course that has nothing to do with the product. But let me tell you, when it says that it's a serum foundation, it's a serum foundation. You could almost, you know, in my opinion, let's say you don't have every type of found, uh, excuse me, skincare to address, you know, whatever your needs are. Let's say salicylic, uh, you look, you, Let's say you um, need skincare that has salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, da, 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 all this. Well, this pretty much takes care of that. You, this is your foundation and your serum all in one. So that's just something to think about. Very, very pretty. Again, just check out the video and you will see how pretty this foundation is. All right, so next up, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Glosses. Um, this is old school. ABH has been around a hundred of years since the beginning of time. And here recently, I've been trying to revisit my old collection because I just haven't been purchasing makeup like I was last year and the year before that because let's get real. I really do need to use this up. And I bought a, she had a kit, um, a, a, I think last year of all her lip glosses and the little, uh, the little sparkly lip glosses. And I bought it and I didn't realize how pigmented her lip glosses are. Uh, plus they're not sticky. Um, if you have long hair and you're worried about it, you know, kind of getting stuck on your mouth and sticking there and then ruining your makeup, you really don't have to uh, worry about that because it's not uh, thick and goopy. But again, very pigmented and I have been enjoying these uh, lipsticks. Plus I like to pair them with other colors like the lighter colors and things like that. Anyway, I've just been having a lot of fun with these and if you haven't checked them out, you probably should. All right, so next up, I have the, how do you say this, Voluspa. I have the Voluspa mini candles and guys, I love these. I like buying them in the little sets like this. And the set that I have um, is it's called the Mini Candle Trio French Cade, Goji and Lychee. And first off, are you all familiar with lychee? I've talked about that scent before on my channel and you all probably have heard of it already, but these candles um, are so good. So they burn 25 hours and it says, discover citrus and fruity notes from fragrances, goji and tobacco orange and pandora lychee and woody notes from French Cade and Lavender. And I know that I'm probably not supposed to do this, but I like burning them all at once, sometimes separate. And I'll just kind of put them in different areas in the house. I like uh, burning them. Uh, I have a stand by my tub and I like burning them uh, right there uh, when I'm taking a bath and it's just so nice. It also seems to have like, and I'm not a candle connoisseur, but I have noticed this in regards to other candles like when you burn them the it gets uh, all dark and black um, and kind of disgusting these uh, look real clean and clear as it's burning down so I don't know if that means anything if it does let me know down below but I love these and again I like buying them in sets and my kids also bought me uh, a, another little mini set I don't have it in front of me I don't remember uh, the name of that mini set but these are so divine and they smell so good you know how some candles you burn them and you can barely smell it no ma'am especially the lychee one if you like lychee let me tell you you have to get this little mini set or they might have a large uh 
candle that smells like lychee, but those are definitely it and I love it. Right, so next up I have a powder and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Loose Setting Powder. And I've talked about this powder before and get ready with me. And let me tell you, this powder is really nice. You, if you've seen any of those videos, you already know how uh, finely milled and how evenly it goes on. But of course, uh, what I like most about it is that it's infused with antioxidants it's clean it doesn't have any dye in it it doesn't have any sulfates or phthalates none of that trash it's just a really good overall drugstore powder and I love it and um, what I like doing is mixing this in with my um, what is it uh, covergirl translucent powder uh, just to kind of get a better shade match but this is you got to try this powder because I think it's only like ten dollars because if you're looking for some makeup that's affordable uh, that does have some good things in it I would say to definitely check this one out all right and the last thing that I have up which is almost finished this is going to be going in the empties pile soon this is the Lano Lips uh, the original 101 ointment multi-purpose super bomb and it says that this is a ultra medical grade Aussie lanolin and it's safer more effective and a hundred percent natural alternative to common petroleum lip balms and it looks like this has a five-star rating I like this it kind of reminds you of um, petroleum like Vaseline or whatever uh, but it to me it just seems like it's thicker and if you have issues with dry lips my lips I don't I'll drink water I'll drink water uh, it's just I have to do the most to keep my lips soft and supple like all of the time I cannot do the least with my skin skin on my face skin on my body my lips I always have to do the most but if you're one of those people and you just kind of chronically have dry lips I would definitely say to check this out especially if you don't want to use the petroleum or you know the Vaseline definitely check this one out this is a good one I always repurchase this one as you can see it's time to repurchase another one so that's it short and sweet those are all of my monthly favorites for July let me know if you've tried any of these products let me know how well they work worked for you or how well they did not work for you. Let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.